years in a row. Okay, there's a lot going on out there, so you got to get a check of our weather with our chief meteorologist. Yeah, a lot of wind blowing in another storm, right, Alana? Yeah, mask could help you out because we've got dirt and dust in the air. This is what it looked like at Utah Lake. People trying to take advantage of the wind earlier, but you can't make out the lake mountains because these winds are kicking up dust and dirt particles into our air, and as a result, air quality has declined. Right now, along the Wasatch Front, we've got moderate air due to particulate matter to Willa County in the unhealthy for sensitive groups. That's because of the amount of dust we're seeing suspended into our air that we're breathing in to Willa County under that wind advisory. So Salt Lake County for the next several hours. Those wicked winds don't want to give up. Southwesterly winds ahead of a strong cold front that's going to move on through. This approaching storm system brings several weather elements as well as thunderstorm potential. We've got wet weather on the way and the temperatures are going to drop below average so we're going to get cooler. I will tell you for how long but yes it impacts your weekend. Live look at the ABC4 studios. Our colonial flag whipping with those southerly winds and you can see the cloud cover has increased in the last several hours and that's as the storm system gets closer to the beehive state looking at some of the numbers you can see from Bountiful down to the University of Utah and on the back side of the Wasatch all the way to Evanston clocking decent wind gusts. Also the case in the southern portion of the state where those southerly winds are very pronounced in the West Desert. Zion National Park looking at 30 mile per hour gusts this hour. Blanding's gusty. St. George just clocked a 40 mile per hour gust. 54 miles in Cedar City. This is also bringing in warmer air. Southwesterly flow often does this, and so we've got 76 for the temperature outside right now. Very mild in Salt Lake, 70s for the next several hours, but those clouds are filling in, and they do bring an increasing chance of moisture as we get through the evening. There's the front. It's moving through Nevada. It's knocking on the door, ringing the doorbell, bringing cloud cover with it, and we're starting to see echoes of moisture right there on the fringe of the northwest corner of the state. The system's going to drive right through the state, and it brings mountain snow potential and valley rain. Snow level around 6,500 feet, but we're looking at accumulation, so if you have to drive in the mountains, heads up. Wintry travel ahead. Threat of a thunderstorm for our Friday. It's going to be an active day tomorrow, not just for Utah, the entire region. This is put out by the Storm Prediction Center and it means we could see some strong storms develop. Also the case on the eastern side of the state as we head into Saturday. That system will continue to exit to the east, but it will keep us active. Here's a look at the timeline on the moisture. Okay. It wants to move in. It comes in tonight, tomorrow, more widespread valley rain, mountain snow, and yes, thunderstorms throughout the state. It is going to be a very active Friday. We're closing out the work week with the potential for some decent moisture accumulation. As we head into Saturday, the snow level will drop, and you notice some snow showers want to stick around. We could see mixed precipitation with that cooler air taking over on Saturday morning. So a heads up, we've got that Salt Lake Marathon. So. Runners, bundle up. All right, we've got a winter weather advisory for the Uintas and the Wasatch. That's going to hold until noon on Saturday. We're looking at accumulations of 8 to 16 inches of snow and winter driving conditions up there. Temperatures drop. No more upper 70s. 50s for tomorrow along the Wasatch Front with storm potential. 50s and 60s on the eastern side of the state. 40s and 50s on the I-15 corridor. Getting to 60 in St. George. That daytime heating going to add to the instability and really help with storm development, eyes to the skies for your Friday. Storms possible in St. George. Temperatures warming as we head into next week. Drier conditions down south as we get through the weekend. Different story for the north. This impacts us for several days. This is a strong system, and it brings that wet weather to close out the work week. With showers lingering into Saturday, we will stay below average on Sunday. Temperatures trying to rebound as we head into next week. A ridge of high pressure takes control. And we see those 70s return. So if you like the warmth, it's coming. We've just got to get through a few rocky days with much needed moisture that we're looking forward to. Glenn, Emily, over to you. Yep, we'll take all we can get. Thanks so much, Lana. Appreciate it. Yes, we will. Wesley Ruff joining us now. And Wes, finally, playoffs back in Salt Lake City. Oh, Are you so psyched? psyched. And so nervous. Absolutely. With the series all tied up.